Welcome, welcome, beautiful people. Welcome to KH No Filter Football. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing today or tonight or whatever it is, wherever you're from? How are you guys doing, doing? Andrew, start with you, bro. How are you doing? Yeah, man. All good, all good. End of another week. Another week is gone. Yeah, all good. Just want to... It's actually been pretty peaceful about any football, actually, I've got to say. You know what I mean? It's been a been quick week. But yeah, all good, man. Like yeah, many shows. I, yeah, I mean, if you're like me and you have crippling depression, you need some football in your life, yeah? But it is what it is. Chris, how are you, bro? Yeah. How are you yeah, I'm all good. Uh, some good news about Chelsea, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm good. Will? Actually, I know I know how Will is doing, but Will, tell, 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 the, tell the peeps how you're yeah, doing. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Surviving. Will yeah. is surviving. Barely. Will is surviving. Barely. Barely. Anyway, we'll start off with the, with, the, with the kid that was sold that apparently started like an ultra and all over like Chelsea. Twitter, that we the how dare we sell a kid who haven't even played like one single appearance for Chelsea? Mm. How dare we? How yeah. dare we? What's his name again? Marshall forgot his name all the time, man. That's his name is Mark Gohi, and he's made two appearances actually. Kai, he's made two appearances as what on the bench? Or did he actually no, he game? started. He started against Grimsby in our seven-one when he started against United when Rashford scored that massive seven-one win. When did we win seven-one? Uh, against Grimsby. In it was when Reese James oh. made his debut, and then he, yeah, yeah. he started against Man United when we lost 2 1 as well. <laughs> you know what, Grims? You know what, Grims? You sound like it sounds like a, a weapon from the, uh, the Green Goblin uses, man. <laughs> Fucking doesn't even sound like a real team, man. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Um, but yeah, Mark Gerhi uh, made two appearances for Chelsea, uh, was on loan at Swansea last season, apparently had a good season there. Uh, Sold for well, it's not confirmed yet, but about to be no. 20 million pounds to uh, Crystal Palace. Now, the good thing is, it's what I've wanted us to do all the time, Kai, and that is put some type of clause in there that if he turns out to be good, to be decent, yeah, yeah, that we have like first refusal or whatever back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want us to start doing with these transfers because then at least. We don't have our faces in, you know, in the mud like we've had. We have a set-on clause as well, don't we? Yeah, and a set-on clause as well. So, uh... <laughs> never, never. Mind. I, I got something to say about it as well. The youth, Go on. Go on. like I, I don't understand. It's like a thing of Chelsea, and I'm sure you guys have seen it. Every time we literally force this youth agenda in Chelsea, and we're not about that. We're just never been about always. You, if you're good enough to play, you're good enough. But if you're not, don't force your gender. To play, oh, you got to play this youth, you got to play that youth. We're not just like 11 youth players, we got to play experienced players, we got to play talented, like world class players, and then we play a couple of youth players who are good enough. But like selling a, a youth player for 20 million is actually good business yeah. for me. And you got, like Andrew said, a buyback clause. So, like these big accounts, and since Fan Clampard, this youth agenda stinks. Say their name, say their name, Chris. Say their name, <laughs> Alex, Go <laughs> Alex, Go <laughs> Alex Goldberg, Alex <laughs> Goldberg, you. You can name them one by one. You can name them all, man. Nobody cares. But yeah, I, I, I'm tired of it, man. How, how do they expect us to make money, though? Like, we've always used, like, the, the academy and the loan army to, to make money. I don't understand, like, why all of a sudden now it's, like, a huge deal. All of a sudden it's like, oh, shit, you know, like, people are, like, getting torches. They're starting to go all crazy, you know. It's, so I, what? It's so just, I said everyone's had a mind swipe for the past two years. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What, before 2000, I thought of transfer ban. This is what the academy was for. Yeah. We used it to make money, whether it's on loans or whether we sold them. I yeah. mean, you know, twenty million pounds for guys made two maybe league cup appearances. You know, has never played in the Premier League like a full blown season. That's amazing business. It's twenty million pounds. We don't know how good he's gonna be. And we've put a clause in there to get him back if he's any good. But it's like it's like they forget what the the business of the academy was before two thousand for the two thousand nineteen season. Yeah. You know, that's what it was, and all this and all this thing about oh, you know, we would love to have the you said the, the top six clubs don't really have youth players in, and if they do, they maybe have one or two every like ten years or something like that. Yeah, but we're very lucky. We've got like three or four. That's very rare. We don't at the same time we don't do that. This whole myth that is something like man, like the Man United class in '92, 
that's an aberration. It doesn't happen. Yeah. It just and, uh, Man City, Man City have got uh, since they take since they got taken over properly, right? One youth player in that time, yeah, Phil Foden, United. What Rashford and Rashford is the most successful one. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's who, it. Who, who and else then they've got, got uh, the Greenwood's green, got green 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 potential. Yeah. Liverpool, yeah. Trent. That's it, Trent Alexander Arnold. Arsenal van just started using Saka. Now they yeah. weren't using them the, the youth before. And Spurs had Harry Kane that came through. Do you know what I mean? It, it just doesn't it doesn't And he had like so many loans as well. Harry. Yeah, but it doesn't but what I mean is we we don't, these clubs don't have like a, a youth player coming in every season or every two seasons. It's very rare. I'm tired of it, Andrew. I'm tired of this motherfucking kids in this motherfucking academy, man. Like, we get it. We get it. We had Mason Mount. We had Rhys James. Okay. Like, like that's enough. Like, academy yeah, that's like, a lot. import and for the next Kai 10 Christensen. years. Man. Christensen. Yeah, Christen, for yeah, yeah Christensen academy. as well. People yeah, he, he also had that. People yeah. forget that. And that's, yeah. So that's free and then chose, like, obviously in and out, but we're not going to go into it. And it's not like we sold many of them. Like, which one do you, we said? We sold, we sold Tamuri. But they can think Lampard for which that. Youth pro- which youth product have yeah. we sold? Other than come, Tamori. Come youth product, not player. Youth product. So you, don't give me Sad or De Bruyne. They weren't youth products. Yeah. Young players. Which youth products come from Academy that we've sold has come back to bite us in the ass. I think only Tamori. Tamori well, hasn't we don't even know, though, do we, though, Kai? Yeah, Can't but Tamori hasn't one? really. He's been, he's yeah, he been good at times at Milan. Yeah. Right, let's see what he does. And if he does... If he does fair dues, that's one, it, it, one in the in Rome in the past eighteen yeah. years since Rome has taken over. You think we're going to replace Tamori though? So, I, I don't. I don't see us like linked to any like uh, any uh, defender. I don't. I so don't think we are until unless unless um, Zuma gets sold. I don't believe we're going to. Zuma go. If Zuma goes, I think we'll get that Lacroix. But linking back to the, linking but, back to the gay transfer though, like, I read something today, and of course I take everything with a pinch of salt. The reason, one of the reports I was reading that Gerhi left is because um, Tuchel apparently, another story, Tuchel likes Milan Saar. Yeah, if, I know. If, if, <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that why they did the interview for him? That's today, what I'm saying, Kai. Why would you do an interview for, for a, a relevant player, player yeah. who you think's going on loan? What's the point? What is I the point? Know, you wouldn't, man. right? You wouldn't. The club wouldn't waste their time. They must, they must, have, got I don't... Him, they must have got him that Tuchel's going to include him in the first team squad. Yeah. It's, the only, it's the only thing I can think of, and that's one of the reasons Gerhi left, apparently, or was, or was sold because we're not gonna we're not gonna use him, and someone's coming with twenty million pounds for players hardly had any minutes. Yeah, plus plus our squad is quite bloated, you know. Like we have quite a lot of players, so I do understand like yeah. why, why did they make the sale because we have like like right. the only place where we're kind of light now is be, uh, the striker and uh, oh, the midfield kind of you could you could argue because of Gilmore. Before, before we move on, links in the mm. description, Twitter. YouTube, mm-hmm. Discord, My, uh, like the video, only fans, the video, Andrew's only fans, and to put the super chat, put the super chat. Kai has assured us he is wearing underwear today. For Kai. <laughs> I, have, I am, I am. So don't ask him too to much information. Don't you worry, people. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> but go on, Kai. Yeah, it's it's just mad. The, the overreaction to it is mad from some parts, isn't it? It's just mad. Yeah, but we we uh, like our fans overreact to everything. Yeah, we're like a bunch, very, like very a bunch reaction. of little girls. So a portion of the fans are very reactionary to it I, I think monster posted it and i went i yeah. replied to monster said when did some of our fans become pussy do you know what I mean? it's no like but, just... but see about the transfer i do get it because of like that our past like uh us not signing players every time we like we don't like i think like i honestly think yeah yeah like hands to heart i think if chelsea capitalized on our winning titles like mm-hmm. our winning season of title winning season we would have had at least three more uh premier leagues because every time we win the Premier League, we kind of relax, you know. <laughs> yeah. Fatur, Fatur, the day I would ever subscribe to the OnlyFans is the day I will cut my own Kai Jr., bro. <laughs> that's, that's, I am not that guy, bro. I am not that guy. But yeah, yeah like, um, oh, on. it's kind of, it's for me, it's just a bit, I'm, I'm worried because of the Holland thing. I am worried because now we, we we're a bit light because we sold Giroud. Giroud is, have left. Very light. And, very and Tammy light. want to Tammy want to leave, so we have nobody basically. All we have is uh, Chris's uh, buddy, you know, Timo Werner. Other than that, we don't have any strikers. So I, I really don't know. You, doesn't it remind you a bit at the moment of the 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 the, 
the second Mourinho reign, but the first year back, you know, when we just had um, Eto and Torres up front. Oh, and man, was that was like, depressing. Was like, I hope it doesn't like, become like that. It was like We're... a broken Torres and an old Eto. No, but we could have won the league that season, remember? But the, our only yeah, issue was scoring goals. Really, but, but what but Kai. is that we don't have like out and out striker. We don't have an out and out striker. I'm worried. Man. Yeah. We, d- we don't have that, but we've got rid of a bunch of strikers now by the looks of We're maybe getting rid of Tammy Abraham. We will sign a striker, even for Bitchu if they will sign a striker. Don't know okay, which striker it is. I know okay, we don't that, know which striker is, but we are going yeah, to get a striker. That is confirmed. Ex- yeah, but exactly. But, not, who. But, but the quality does matter, though. Yeah. Like, I get it that we're going to sign a striker. I hope we don't get like potential. because I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of potential. We got more yeah, yeah, because yeah. of his potential. Yeah, I'm tired of it as well. I want I mean, somebody who can put the ball at the back of the net so we can win a Premier League again. Because it's mean, been five years since we won the Premier League last time, no? Hard to be, as well, if we don't win it next year, <laughs> if we don't win it like in 20, if we don't win it this season, it will be five years. And it'll be the yeah. longest in our history. Um, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit depressing. Like, And we always yes. have issues with strikers. We always have yeah, issues. We do, don't we? And we, we can solve that issue for the next five or six years, you know, at least. It's, it's, it's not even that. If we were to get Haaland and they put in this release clause, fine. In yep. three or four years, if he hits it, I'm and if he bangs in over 100 goals, and we're sitting on another two yeah. Premier League, seven Premier football leagues, and a, another European Cup, I don't care. All I want is Chelsea to, if they say Holland, I want Chelsea scouts to be better and start scouting now for the next big thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like a year before, maybe the third or the fourth year, yeah, but they buy him, but loan him back to the club, and then. When Haaland goes, they bring that mm. player in, ready to go. Yeah, I mean? but that's that's basically us assuming that he would want to go in three or four years. You never right. know. He might I, fall in love with the club. Be, well, I want him to be prepped. I want him to be prepared. I don't want him to go like they knew. They, if he comes, obviously, there's yeah. a, a, a buyout clause. And then suddenly go, oh, we didn't realise someone would come in and buy him. Do you know what I mean? Just get it done before that. Because before people know you've got whatever yeah. money to spend you know what I mean it's Andrew like, if we sign harder even if he gives us just one Premier League title I'll be fine if in three or four years even just one Premier League title if he came in and then someone oh, buys no, him I, 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 I just I, it's not even about the Premier League title though Andrew I just want like whenever our player goes one and one with the keeper I just wanted yeah. to know that we're going to go have a goal man. like it's that desperate you know like like you you guys in the chat keep saying Danny Ings I know you're trying to trigger some of us but <laughs> you, do you know what no, I you, wouldn't want Danny Oldman. Right? I know, that's the, that's the thing. I think what it is, is Kai, I think it's Danny Ings. I think we, you think about Danny Ings when compared with who the striker we're trying to get. Yeah. The profile, do you know what I mean? Mm, if yeah. it was like, and of course the club he's coming for, if it was like Danny Ings and he was at Spurs or Arsenal or yeah. Liverpool, right, and we weren't trying to get Haaland, I think we'd all have maybe a different uh, view of him. Respect him, go. Okay, he's banging in goals there. I still think it's good he's banging over 20 goals for Southampton because they're crap. But yep. if it's mm-hmm. Danny Ings, if we, if we get Danny Ings and we don't get Haaland, it's going to be like, ah. If we get both, happy days. Yeah, I mean, if it, if he was to come in after we get Haaland as the, and he knows he's a backup, then I don't think you or I, That's Kai, a great would, backup. Would, yeah. would be like, oh no, we'd go, okay, we've got... Yeah, but I don't mind, out. but I want... Chelsea to be where Chelsea should be, you know. We yeah. need that striker. That's what pisses me off. We need a striker. I'm tired of us putting like, you know, like if you your arm, striker, if, you're, if, if, you're if your finish. arm is ripped up, right? Like your your whole arm, like you fuck, you're bleeding like crazy. You wouldn't put a fucking plaster on it, would you? No. You would, ban- you would like not, try to bandage not. it, like put a bandage on it. Yeah. So that's the thing with Chelsea. I'm tired of this like uh, solution that don't work. We already wasted more more than the price of Holland on strikers in the last ten years, and none of yeah. them worked. Yeah. Other than Costa, and even Costa arguably worked for what two years, and then he left. Two out of three, yeah. Remember yeah. that that off season. That's the else. season that him and I, so exactly. So why can't we just solve that now rather than just keep paying for two or three strikers that are gonna fail? Absolutely, you're absolutely but correct. Would you absolutely would you guys be mad if you see Chelsea put an official bid like 150 million, and it still rejects? Would you expect Chelsea to go for like more than 150 I, million? So I, I don't think I would expect. I that. doubt. I doubt if we offered him 150 million, they will reject it. Yeah, I doubt that too, and I, I that's why it. I believe that's why I believe Chelsea are going to get Haaland because we have even like Jan said, 200... even Jan no. said, if they offer him double, like his release clause from next season, they will accept, and he's close to that to the people you know, to, to his dad and stuff. Do you know why I think Dortmund keeps saying, you know, they don't say he's not for sale, but they keep going, yeah, yeah. 
we're going to carry on the season. I don't think, and this might be even some people on this panel and maybe in the South spot, I don't yeah. think they think we're going to offer 150 million. Right. Yeah. Right. In terms, that's that's why they're so. Cool. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I they're understand. Gonna offer that. I understand that. I understand. But the the rumor yesterday about we put in a bid for players rejected yeah. that has been that has been yeah, denied. Lie, that's been uh, denied. Chelsea are not that stupid to offer ten exactly. Abraham exactly. to another team and expect me to. Abraham. Abraham. You're, you're insane if you think they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna take Sammy Abraham. Abraham. Bro, if we, if, Marlin, if, literally, if we offer them 70, 70 million and Tim Abraham, they'll be like, like need, you're offering us, an you're offering us seventy million and what? Like you literally would offer them yeah, nothing. Yeah, they'd say million. they'd rather have seventy million. I mean, it's yeah, like, it's like it's, it's like we're waiting because it's not because it doesn't fit like the mold that uh, the way that uh, uh, Dortmund play. You know, I I I could never imagine like Tammy in a Dortmund team. It doesn't fit it. Marshall Mar- Mar- here. Um, if they reject it, they reject it, right? But at least the club have gone in. First of all, Marshall. Do you know what I mean? Why, yeah, why I, is Marshall in the comments anyway? Could you ask on the stream? Back. <laughs> uh, but um, is, if we put in 150 million, they reject yeah. it. There's nothing more that we can do. Yeah. We no, I, would, to, I wouldn't even be mad at the club. But I want us to try. Stronger. I want us we to try. To... Even Inter Milan, if we offer them, uh, I'm, I'm 100% sure, if we offer them 80 million for Lukaku, they would take it. Yeah, they would take it because they have financial issues. They can't even afford players now. Yeah, that's right. that's the thing um, with Chelsea. Like apparently we have over two hundred million. So logically, you think they'd go for a striker like a Haaland or a Lukaku first because that's where. If you look how our season's gone, like our top score has been Jorginho and it's not been good enough. So you don't want to risk it on Timo again just in case. Yeah. So you yeah. want a striker who. Who can potentially score like a bag four goals and take the load off Timo as well? Like so, yeah. you think Chelsea will go for like a, a striker like a Haaland and Lukaku? Logically, you would think first. Yeah. If, if we, I keep saying this, if we don't get a striker, Chelsea fans, do not talk about challenging for the title this season. Okay? Bro, I will like That's the way United. It's a top four battle. That's what it is. If United get Var- if United get Varane, for me, they're a better team than us. If we don't strengthen, because they already have Cavani, you can say whatever you want about him being old, but he's a really good finisher, man. Like if you watch Cavani, yeah. he's a really good finisher. And he's adapted to the Premier... Yeah, and he's adapted to the Premier League. We have no striker, man. Like we have. No... Um, I actually think United's got a better first eleven than us, but the problem is with United, they got an average manager who ain't as good as our manager, so um, yes, that kind of holds them back. Yeah, but, not but that that yeah, argument. Depth, yeah. They, yeah, but they f- still finished above us last season. Plus, they yeah. improved, you Two know. Two seasons so. in a row. They, so they finished, yeah. And for I, me, I, it's just unfair for Tuchel as well, man. Like, you win the Champions League, you expect, you know. And he complained a lot about a striker. And I, I know Tuchel because I've watched him at Dortmund and I've watched him at PSG. Once you don't give him what he wants, he will start causing scenes. People are like, oh, people think like he's like, sorry, you know. Like, you just give him what he, he'll work with what he need, wants. No. He is a he's a lot more like content than he is like uh, sorry. Mm. He's just gonna complain. Or well, what he'll do is he'll start playing fucking. He'll do something mad and play Kante in centre back if he's pissed off. Or he'll. Or, he'll or even f- worse, <laughs> well, he'll play. Uh, he'll play. <laughs> I know he's a winger, bro. Play, I know he's a winger, bro. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man. man. Like Chelsea needs to do something, man. I'm I'm actually like. Like the thing with me is right. Like every week, I just look. I'm like, I look on Twitter every day. I refresh. It's like, oh, is there new news? Like, is there something changing? <laughs> and all I see is United signing players. You know, they're in for Kamavinga. They're in for uh, Varane. They signed Sancho. It's depressing, yeah, man. That was like us. That was probably them with us. Yeah, exactly. Season, you know, you we just got to relax, Kai. Just we're relax. signing at six or seven players. Like, yeah, but but I need someone to give me like. Why should I expect this? Chelsea are more likely to buy four Zapacostas than to buy one big player. Man. <laughs> like, that's so us. That's so us. That's why I'm, I'm a bit frustrated. Because that's we so should, us to do that. We shouldn't, we, should worry, we shouldn't have to worry about the money, though. Because we've already, already made £50 million pounds in sales with Tamori, Gehi, and now... Uh, yeah, didn't we also win like a lot of money from the Champions League? Well, the Champions, Champions League. money and the Premier League finishing as well. You get, we, we got over £100, pounds, 100 million pounds for that. The Javago deal... As much people might, you know, they put in the big money as well. Um, but, you know, I expect more sales. But I just, I just, the issue is, is that, 
you know, this is uh, this. I believe they're only working on this deal at the moment. Kai, I don't think they're working on any other deals. You think they're working on the Haaland deal? I, 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 I believe only, believe only so the too. Haaland deal. I think they're only working on the Haaland deal. I, I think they're the they're only. Working. I think the only thing they're working at is those donuts in the in the boardroom. Well, I don't maybe, think they're doing I, anything. I just man. think I just think they're only, they're only working on. Kai, you come on. You you saying Chelsea not serious at all? No, I'm, I'm, it's not that we're not serious. I just think we put our foot off the gas every time we win a, we win a major trophy, you know. We, did, we, we didn't do that. We didn't do that in 2012, though, did we? Kai, I don't believe you can say this is like people are fearing 2017 if we don't buy if we don't buy anyone or if we buy maybe if a Danny Ings comes in instead of Parliament. I, I, oh, I don't believe this is 2017 because those players were shit. I don't believe yep. like it. I don't, I, yeah, but, I think Danny Ings is a good striker. Yeah, but you still don't know how he would play for us. No, could that's, be playing... we don't, but we don't know. We, that, that could be said with any player, though, can't it? And the thing is, as well, with player. Danny Ings, like, due to his, his contract, it'd be so cheap that even if he wasn't the best... Uh, yeah, but, but we're yeah. Chelsea Football Club. This we have a billionaire owner, man. I don't want us to look at, like, cheap and whatever. This is, like... that being cheap. I just yeah, but, about... but, but Andrew, you could argue that the striker position is the most important position oh, very much on the so, pitch. Very much so. so why can't we just fucking fix that issue for once <laughs> and for all, man? All right. Look, Listen, look what Marshall they... said, and that's 100% right. But let me just... Let like, me that's, just what, say, that, me... That, that's what Chelsea does. Let me just say... Yeah, this. but selling a little shitty teenager is not the same thing like buying a hundred. No, but, like, no, but Chelsea no, do this, uh, Chelsea do this all nowhere. secretly. But, no, but what I'll say this, what I'll say this, Kai... The striking position at this club has always been the issue under Roman. I st- no one can, no one's going to ever dissuade me. There's only been three successful strikers in Roman's era: that's yeah. Didier Drogba, that's Nicolas Anelka, and that's Diego and Costa. Costa. No other striker. They may have shown little signs, but they've not had like a season yeah, 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 exactly. or a couple of seasons where they've been where they've played well. Actually, impressive, yeah. Yeah, yeah which is, exactly. which is so, shocking. So yeah, so which is which is why I'm like desperate for this deal to happen. Yeah. I wouldn't even mind. You know, I'm also annoyed about us not getting Lukaku. Like we could have kept Lukaku, we could have had him like a while ago before United did. And imagine like what you know, like I, I get that that he needed to go to Inter Milan to kind of develop his game and stuff and work with Conte and whatever. But why couldn't we give that to Conte in the beginning? I just, I just like we half ass. Like let's be honest, our board half ass sometimes. Like the Morata thing, we could have had Lukaku. Even even Conte came out and said we were close, but we went for Morata instead because apparently it was cheaper. And that's our issue. We always go for something cheaper in the striker. I agree. And, I agree. and you know, ironically, we ended up spending more money on strikers yeah, yeah. than any other position because we keep buying them. Like, yeah, because we keep trash. buying shit. We keep buying shit. <laughs> I mean, we do. We keep buying bro. shit. I mean, as much as, you like, as much as people yeah. will blame... Marina for buying Morata. I don't. She sold him for near near enough. Yeah. A little bit of a loss, but somehow got. I think I was looking at today. I saw a, I saw a story about linking us to Suarez. I was like, what? Jesus. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind Suarez. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that's a good shot. He's a good striker. Oh, yeah, He's no. a good striker. Why would but Why wouldn't him? Because he beat. He, he won't. Beat no, he won't come, he he won't come to Chelsea. Let's no way. see. Suarez history wouldn't do our club's history. Uh, any <laughs> we're trying to get rid of certain parts of our yeah, hey, I yeah, get because, okay, yeah, because because other players were lovely, cunts when they are no, no, just no, lovely no, players, no, man. No, I'm just thinking just the club's history and some even the support today, uh, needs uh, wiping out. Uh, um, yep. and I just don't think Suarez for me. We just make him wear like a dog mask. That's it. Just make me. Just make me. It would just make me a bit uncomfortable. Him in a oh. Chelsea shirt. I mean, I don't even. I don't even buy him on FIFA. That's how much I. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't. Will loves him. Will, Will loves him. I know. Really love him, wait, 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 wait. I don't love him. I love him as a player. I don't love. I think he's a cunt. Of the he is, but <laughs> Jesus he's, Christ. Uh, He's got that's that's baggage. what Chelsea needs. Too much baggage from him. We need a cunt. I'm tired of Morata's being like, oh, yeah, no, Harland, Harland is though. Harland is. Harland is that. Yeah. Yeah, Harland's yeah. that. Yeah, Harland is. is but he's, yeah, he's but, already got the mentality. Yeah, but he's not ours. He's not ours he's yet. Not ours, and though. I, I'm very like today was was athletic was the the times they said like oh they they're, they're willing to lose in millions, and, and they don't want to sell. Doesn't make any sense either for them. Business. If they yeah, do but, that, then that's the sort they're gonna die on with it. So yeah, I, it depends I, I believe, what we ask, we can do. I think Chelsea are hesitant. I think they're hesitant to pay this much money. I think yeah, if we yeah. actually did offer them this amount of money, we could have signed it. But I think they're like, 
oh, is it like, is he going to flop? Oh, is he going to, like, should we use him? And, and I just think, like, if we if we only start looking at that deal in the last two weeks of the window, we're not going to get him. No, no. Dortmund's still going to find a replacement. So Chelsea needs to do something fast or... Well, there's no... Yeah, then I... Listen, I believe you're right. I think this. I think... They're, I think they're like to and fro in about whether to offer the 150 million or not, whether, yeah. whether, whether, how it works out. Because I believe it's, I believe everything's done, Kai, because you can't announce you agree personal terms as a striker until a club officially end, accepts a bid. Yeah, it's called yeah, but, tapping up. But apparently, up. yeah, but according, according to Yan, we didn't even do that. No, like, that's a lie. They can't announce, they can't announce it. They can't announce that. They, they could take. They could be accused of tapping up. They can't announce it. I just think it's the bid. I really do think it's the bid. I yeah. I, I just. I think it's that's it. I think as much bid. as they want to be positive, yeah. Even even until we did the the Harvard deal, we were we were kind of like penny pinching, you know. <laughs> so we took we took it we took time to kind of go, and that's like that's even more than double the price, no? This yeah, is different to the Harvard deal. That's a lot different. Obviously. In what way though? In what one? Because Harvard haven't. Uh, sorry, not Harvard. Levy. Sorry, Dortmund haven't. Um, they've been using at the time. They didn't lose uh, one of their best players before selling Havertz. So it's, it's a little bit different. In that yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. They don't need to sell because they already have. That's why I said we should have pressed it before the, the Sancho. I just don't know. I, I would love for us to get either uh, Lukaku or Haaland, preferably Haaland. But I just, I, I just don't know where it's gonna come from. I honestly don't know where is it. Like, you know, like but I could, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. The problem is I hope Chelsea, I'm wrong. We, ha- we have some money. Than ever. Chelsea more secretive than ever this season. They yeah, but, but anything away. But what what sounds more like Chelsea, Chris? A team that's that spend on two hundred million on three or four players, or a team that play, that spend it on one player? Let's be honest. They're gonna spend. Yeah, on make me say the three or four players because I know that. Yes, like we've done that before. We did that. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. drink waters and that 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 transfer window was the worst. And Emerson was there as well. Like that window was the worst ever. But like, I don't think Chelsea can ever top that window ever again. So I, mean, I guess I have to look be. forward to. I don't think that's. I think Slender's right. I mean, similar to Kai, we're really the only ones really in for him. Do you yeah. know what I mean? No one's in yeah. for that. No one's in for Kai. But, it's, but, but, then, but then the clubs are different. Leverkusen are, were okay with... Like, they would try and convince Kai to stay one more year, but it was never going to happen. I think they... Yeah, they you know. We have a good relationship with Dortmund. We do have a good... Do we have a better relationship with Dortmund than, 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 than United. But the issue with us... Because I do believe if we sign that one player, like that literally elevates us to the next fucking level, man. Of course it like, does. We need that. Fu- we need that one player, just like that one player. And I don't care if we don't sign any player for the next year windows, man. That's how we're much not, I want to strike we're up. Not man. Buying, we're not buying Declan Rice this summer. Get out. Get out. I think. That's, really see, that's a waste of money, though. That's a waste. Declan Rice is a waste, waste of fucking money. Waste, for Eighty million. Eighty million man. is a waste. Absolute waste. Yeah. Especially if we need Haaland, because because we do we do need Haaland. Yeah. I'm, I'm... No one spends. Yeah, like lot lot to collect. You buy yes. a striker first because Chelsea, like I right. said, like our top score is Jorginho. So you buy a striker what can get goals and then you worry about like the midfielders, the wingers, the defenders. Be the first you worry about them afterwards. I mean, when spend the first 150, I mean, they spent that, but I mean, Barcelona, right? But didn't Barcelona spend 145 on Coutinho or something like yeah. that, right? Like 120 odd for Griezmann, 120 for Dembele. Yeah. It's obviously Neymar, the 200 million pounds. And our financials are a lot more healthier than theirs. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. So it's like, and I, I don't understand if they're saying like we want to sell, like we we're going to sell Tammy. So why can't we fucking rush it up and just sell Tammy, and try to go for that striker? Because right now we're just wasting time. Well, I, don't I, don't what, I don't even know why we're doing. Why 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 aren't we treating this separately? Why aren't we just going to buy Harlan? Yeah. And then sell the others to offset to to offset the books. You know what I mean? To, to be, you know what I think? To, why do, why are we having to wait? That doesn't seem right. I think the club do, uh, just going you know, to keep uh, Tammy in case we can't sign any other striker. I don't that's what oh, I think. I don't want, yeah, that's another thing. That's what I think. I think they're like they're not really 100% sure that they can get like Holland, so they're not they're not uh, they need to be pushing with Dortmund, which is what or with Inter. I wouldn't even mind Lukaku, man. Like, Lukaku Kai, it's so like, simple, isn't it? Kai, you've said it. Just go up and say he's 100 we'll pay you 150 million. That's it. I'm just waiting for their response. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, no, no Chelsea fan on this planet will complain about this transfer window if we get Haaland. 
Yeah, like yeah. none of us would ask for anything else because a lot of us know that uh, we can manage without a new midfielder. We can manage without a new defender. Yeah. But we can't manage the season. We won't like go anywhere without any without any striker, man. I yeah, think exactly. a midfield is quite easy to get there in the world. Though. Like, we can spend 30 million on a, a midfield, like Petr Cech, Fabregas have been looking at midfielders, and like those ones are pretty easy to get. It's just a Haaland one we just need to put like 100% effort into, and then once we get him, and then we just get the rest, like when like you near know, the transfer window ends. So, yeah. Bro, you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? We're going to end up, we're gonna, this window's going to finish, and we're going to end up with Luka Jovic, bro. The player that no, we were linked no. with two years ago. No, no because we do that. We do that. Remember when we wanted, like, long, long time ago, we wanted, we wanted Pato from AC Milan, and we ended up fucking signing him when he was about to retire? Yeah. That's us. We just we just keep those, like, players on the list, on the short list, and we ended up signing them when they, like, already fucking left the prime. Man. I, don't, I, don't think we're spo- I don't think we're spoiled uh, in terms... Of, no. I don't think we're spoiled. What I think is that... It's not 150 pounds. It's not 150 million not, euros. Uh, yeah, it's 175. It's going to be 150 million pounds. I just think if we're in for him, let's just bloody go, go and just get it, get it done. All this like tiptoeing around and hesitancy. <sighs> just you know, just just do it. Let's get it You're done. Gonna... Just it, 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 You know what? If we get it done, the Chelsea fan base will be so will go from anxiety to calmness within like 10 seconds because we got Harlem. It'll be, it'll be <laughs> sweet relief. No one will care who we sign after that. Bro, knowing this fucking dumbass fucking board, they think, oh shit, uh, we, we on Twitter, all of them, they want Declan Rice. If we sign Declan Rice, they'll be yeah. happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So Alex they don't need Gold a striker. Telling them who to sign. <laughs> yeah. No, fucking but Alex, I, I think, I think Alex Goldberg and his uneven fucking shoulders, man. Uh, yeah. he, we he, need a striker. Think about Alex Goldberg. I, I remember him at the start. He used to be so like uh, I don't know, like truthful. Logical. Now, yeah, logical, like real. And now he's just became a youth, uh, an extremist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like, sad because I do, I do <laughs> like him. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Is some of his, some of his, some of his takes are a bit. Can, um, we, can we get off this? Can we get off this? Can we get off this? Yeah. It's not I'll just think. Marina. This is an owner and a board thing as well, okay? Yeah. Marina will be given instructions about what to, how much to put in and what to negotiate, okay? Marina, you can't... Listen. <laughs> Marina's doing her job, okay? Yeah. And this is a board and an owner decision. She's part of the board. I, I do know that. But you can't... Simply, it's not just her saying no to Roman Abramovich. She works mm. for Roman Abramovich, okay? Yeah. It's not that, okay? She she's one of the she's known as one of the best negotiators in Europe, mm-hmm. okay? In football. So remember last year when you're all praising her for the negotiations. So you know, don't you can't say say or blame her because we're not getting it at the moment. Just just Andrew. relax, man. Yeah. Nah, literally that's, we, that's we that's I was gonna say we Oh yeah. god. I was gonna oh, say no, no. we literally have the biggest flip flop uh flip flop uh fan base with Marina, oh, no. like Literally, one year she's amazing, the next year she's horrible. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, she can't literally pull, pull her own money as well to Haaland. Like, she has to wait yeah. for Roman to go ahead and say, yeah, we got the money for this. Like, uh, she hey. has to go, go talk to Roman. No, uh, she pro- like, the way that most cooperation works, right? You have a budget, you have an assigned budget, and, yeah. you, and there's a person who's assigned to working around that budget. Yeah. So you know what the thing is? I do understand why the club are hesitant to pay it because 150 million is a lot of fucking money, man. That's <laughs> that's more than some some countries like defense yeah. budget, man. So it's, it's a lot of money. <laughs> you no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm yeah, serious. I know. I know. I believe you. I believe you. It is a so, lot of money, and I agree. It is a lot. So I do understand if the club are like uh, like reluctant to pay that money, but at the same time, that is the only issue we have. And at the end of the day, four or five. Five, four or five years, we're going to regret this 150 because we're going to end up spending like 70 or 80 million on three different strikers. Yep. So it's, we're just going to be wasting time anyway. So Football, yeah. Football's football gone mad with money. Like, it's just the way it is. And that's why I don't care when we spend like 50 million on like uh, 
Ben Chilwell, even uh, Bernal or 37 on Kai, uh, not Kai Havertz, on uh, Ziyech. Like, it's nothing uh, into football yeah. like a money. You bet. you bet. Yeah, if that's, we do sign a marquee player, expect that donation. Yeah, but hey, 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 Declan Rice doesn't count as a marquee sign. Declan Rice I'm sorry, count. doesn't. He's 18 million now, and he's, he's nothing too special anyway. So Bro, I can, sell you this, I can sell you this McDonald's cup for 80 fucking million. Doesn't mean yeah. it's an amazing cup, it's just a fucking cup. Yeah. Same <laughs> logic. <laughs> Yep, it's like the paintings, you know, when they're just average paints, but they're worth so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't right. make any fucking sense. Um, all right. Who are we moving on to? Is there any other fucking transfer we can actually talk about? Because we don't do well, anything. Chelsea doesn't do anything. It's not really. It's just literally. It's very hard Vinga. Chelsea. There's Kamavinga. I wouldn't mind Kamavinga, to be fair. If he That's came to died Chelsea. down. That's died down a lot. Even yeah, he's even probably going to go to United. Man United. I think the consensus is in France that he's actually going to stay there. Probably move to PSG. What about so, Kunde? I heard Kunde is Kunde, supposed to reject, was, reject was, Spurs for us. Or whatever. Yeah, that was, but everyone, everyone knows um, he only wants to play for a club in the Champions League. He said that. So I don't know what yeah. Spurs are doing. I mean, people go, oh, it's uh, they're showing. Um, are you alive? Will? Um, but, you know, Sorry, Kai? Yeah, okay? yeah, will, will is alive, Slens. See, he yeah, alive. Um, but I don't think we're buying a defender unless we um, sell one. So yeah, Zuma, right? Um, oh, I yeah. pray, I pray to my, to the Lord that Zuma. Well, you Sorry. can pray to the Lord, yeah, but it's got to be someone good. Like Zuma's not exactly a, a shitty, shitty he's, defender. He's, he's good in there. For Fifteen million, happy days. Get go and get someone else like Lacroix. Fifty million? I thought you guys call him shit. He can't be worth fifty million. 15, I don't think it's 15, 1, 5. 15? 15. Oh, you're yes. not worth that, though, either. Well, no, I'd no, say give me one. one. I'll be happy. Uh, no. Nah, nah. oh, you just want him out that bad, huh? Hey, Literally, man, don't, like... don't use the R word, man, in my chat, man. You're going to get people after me. <laughs> this are going to think you're serious, you know? <laughs> this guy, this guy. Is... <laughs> you can... <laughs> You're a trouble yeah. man. This guy, I like this guy. He's a trouble maker. Right? No, but you, you, you know, you know what's funny. You know what's funny with this whole thing. Zuma this, this is respectful, Slens. This respectful. Zuma, Zuma is broken, right? Let's be honest. Yeah, he had like a really bad injury, and he came back, and 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 we somehow we glued him together, and now he's basically passing by. But I do think we can upgrade on Zuma. I don't think he's as bad as Slens and Will think he is. I just do think yeah. we can up, upgrade on him. You know. I, I, I just that, see that, that, I see good things in him and I see bad things. Now, yes, he has like uh, like bad side. Like, can, can you his, mention uh, the bad things? Can you? Because I, I love obviously his, bad things. Yeah, obviously, obviously he's bad at passing. Yeah. Uh, he's be, he's very unaware sometimes, like where like where the ball's coming from. Like he can like lose. Like I don't know. Like um, that's an understatement. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes he does walk back when the ball's behind him, but like the good things is his last uh, second challenges are really good. His yeah. aerial ability, and he has got a good standing challenge as well. I see him. He's a strong defender, but if we can upgrade on him, I, I will still accept that. Like it, it's the best interest for Chelsea, so I just hope it's a good centre back we replace him with, not like some shitty no one. Yeah, but uh, I like. Why can't we go for Varane? If it's only forty million, why can't we just like, at least try? Or have we tried and he said no to us? Uh, I don't know. For, uh, I don't know. I don't, think we're, I don't think we're in for him. Quite a team of people. We might not. Might have approached approached the agent, but I, I think, think there's soft there. interest there, but not. Yeah, not I don't, but that's what I mean. But we haven't sold any. I believe it's for a defender. It's like one in, one out, maybe. What's up? What's what's up with us being soft? Come on, Chelsea, take some fucking Viagra and let's go, man. Come on. I just think let, let, let's get this stuff done. Man. I'm tired of us being. Tight defense is not defend. Defend is not a priority. Yes, but striker is. I I okay, I I, I, I can't take Timo. You want me in for Varane? See time. people in the chat, yeah. I can't take another season of Timo Werner clearing chances for us. I I am yeah, tired of our one. strikers playing defense. Oh, only cleared one. Uh, I'm sorry, one fucking too many, Chris. Against the Leeds, come on, I know one. Yeah, but we, st uh, doesn't, which is worse, but Do you know yeah, what we need means? we need a striker, uh, and, and people saying, oh, we should use Havertz. Havertz is not a striker; he's maximum like a second striker, but he's not like a lone striker. He needs someone to open space for him, man. Huh? Yeah, and you saw how good he was in the Euros, working off someone up front, even if they weren't yeah. a striker, just another player up there. He was excellent. Um, look at me, look at me doing the, the Alex Goldberg stand, you know. All I need to do is hunch my, sh my shoulders a little bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> my back like this. Um, you know what? I'm going to put a link in the chat. If you want to come on, yeah. any transfer news you want to talk about, 
anything like Chelsea fans yeah. in or out. Keep it about football, yeah. Nobody yeah, comes in and talk to me about their sadness yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What you had for dinner? Stop coming up here. Don't make me come on. Ooh, skip. Ooh, sorry, Slens. Ooh, he's got to come on. Where's Marshall, well, yeah, so... by the way? I still don't know where Marshall is. <laughs> Uh, he's, pa- he's pounding at the gym. Is he on Vazuma? Oh, fucking God, at the gym. Every time I ask. I swear to God, Marshall, I swear to God. If in two months you're not more ripped than me, bro, that's it. You're getting kicked out of the channel, bro. <laughs> you're wasting so much time with that gym, bro. 12 you hours a day that gym, Marshall. 12 hours. Hello, Farber. Hello, Farber. Hey, at le- least, least Marshall's clear, though. Hey? What's up, people? You right, so mate? Yes, Fata. Uh, mm. How you feeling? Not too good, man. It feels like we've been keep hearing this about Harlan news, man. It, feels, it is like a we need the, we need a, a therapy session, shall we say? But here we are, man. Yeah. A therapy yeah. session. But Tua, are you sure that are you sure that's why you're not feeling good, or did Sophie raise her OnlyFans subscription price? Oh, uh, why you have to go on that far, man? <laughs> God's sake, can't. Do you know, can't, do you know, can't go. Do you know, do you know she's on holiday, right? She, how do you know that she's a fucking holiday? I didn't know that, but how do you know? I don't know. <laughs> bro, I follow her Instagram anyway, bro. Kai, you her. can't go two seconds without making a Sophie Rose joke. Come on, that's I, right. guy, that's I, right. I, I am, I am shameless, Will. I am shameless. What, I what's it. life value or jokes? Uh, did I get tickets for Spurs? Um, I'm gonna buy the extra two tickets on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fingers crossed, yeah, man. Yeah. Fatu, yeah. guess yeah. what? Guess what? Yeah, never mind, never mind. I fucking. <laughs> I, I woke up very late, so, and when I mean late, I mean, 6 PM. I mean, it's 6 p.m., so, I still haven't gone on there. What, yeah. you, what did you got stuck in the virtual waiting room, Will? Bro, are you I seriously having, like, yet, a fucking dis- like, uh, a Discord discussion <laughs> here on Discord. stream, bro? Yeah, <laughs> when you talk about honestly, transfers, you even have a to make it hard. Kai, honestly, yeah. Kai, Kai, yeah. like... Yeah. What can we expect from Chelsea transfer apart from keep waiting like a like a monk, honestly? Like a what? Marshall's back. Like a true monk. Back again. <laughs> you can't say that. Yes, Marshall. <laughs> oh, wait. Marshall, you're here. Yes, you're here. Yay. Uh, what, what did you want to say? What, you, what are you saying, Fetter? Talk shit, Fetter. No, no, I'm just kidding. Just I'm just bro. Probably say something uh-huh. random about Sophie Rose, bro. This, this, uh, no, yeah, what are you saying, bro? I ain't saying nothing about Sophie Rose, but if you want a Sophie Rose Insta, Insta account, <laughs> let me know, bro. You know, this I'm is good, what bro. Chelsea I'm transfers good. done to us. We're talking about Sophie Rose. We're talking there's about... Nothing, I don't know. I, there's, no, there's nothing to talk about. Well, every time, every time I'm in this in this phone call, Kai... Not every time. Sometimes I, sometimes I don't. Boundary. But <laughs> just, just, just admit it that you want it, Kai. I got what do I what do I want, man? No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. But yeah, man, I'm 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 annoyed about the Holland thing. I know Marshall is gonna come here with his uh, with his grounded wisdom. I'm sure I'm sure Marshall take him back as a third option <laughs> if we if we go get Haaland on Lukaku. No response. No, you know what it is that real Chris, you asked oh. before. Um, what do we do when if Dortmund decide to reject the offer that we give them? If we give them the hundred fifty mil cash and they reject it, then what do we do? And the best response that you guys gave was Andrew saying, "If they reject it, they reject it." It's like, yeah, no shit. If they reject it, they reject it. What do we do if they reject it? I you know, what do we, we go for? What are the I plan Bs? You weren't actively listening. I know who you want. You Marshall. were selectively I listening. Mar- I know what Mar- I know who Marshall wants. The next words that better be coming out of your mouth, uh, Kai, are Holland because what I want is Holland. Uh-huh. I don't want the other ones. These are just yeah, plan but, Bs. But, but what, what are the plan Bs? Say it to the chat, the people who missed it. What are the plan Bs? <coughs> so listen, the plan chat, listen. Bs, listen. Yeah. I personally think if we don't end up getting a Holland, if we don't end up getting Lukaku, and let's be honest with ourselves, Kane very likely that he's not going to no. come to us. He's going to mm. Man City, right? I, I personally think that. The way I see the team now, we won the Champions League without a striker, essentially, right? All we need is someone that can slot in there, at least give us a few more goals than the people that are already in the team. Those players, I think, are a Dominic Cavalluan, a Danny Ings, and an Ian Nacho. Those are the three players that I think could be a good option if the Holland Lukaku deals don't work out and we still need a striker. Because that's the thing, too. Chelsea are going to get a striker no matter what. If, if we're going to get a striker no matter what and Holland and Lukaku don't work, I don't want Tammy. 
I, I rather hang it to Tom, Dominic Cavalluan, who everyone says he's just like Tammy. No, 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 no. He's not just like Tammy. First of all, Dominic Cavalluan can head a fucking ball. Second of all, he, he's playing in, in, in the new in England squad. You know, he, he's in the bench. You know, he's getting called up. He, he's he's the successor to Kane, in my opinion. And give it time, he's going to be a, a baller. Ian Nacho, we saw what he did for Leicester on a better team. I think he can do really well as well. And then Danny Ings, I know people say he's injury prone. I get it. But this guy, by this, let's just get this right, right? Danny Ings is Southampton. <laughs> like it's hard to disagree with that. Danny Ings is Southampton. Without without Danny Ings, Ward Prowse doesn't do what enough for Southampton to be anywhere. They would probably get relegated without Danny Ings. Let's get it. Let's be I, honest I disagree. Ourselves. I disagree a little bit, Marshall, because Southampton for years have always been a great system. They've always had good players like built in their squad. It doesn't. I, I think right now they do. Really, I just think normally they just play as a squad pretty well and they have a good system and like that. I don't think they're gonna be relegated in a long time, even if Danny uh, Ings goes. They just find someone new to fit in their system and they probably look decent as well. Like <laughs> Danny, if you remember Danny Ings at Liverpool, he was nothing at Liverpool and he's always injured as well. Like yeah, he but look make at what he's Liverpool. doing it in Southampton. He's fucking putting up numbers. Like I think who yeah. was it? Did he score twenty two assists last I season alone? Uh, goals on Johnny Minerals, man. Marshall, I no, I don't listen to Johnny Minerals, man. I don't know that he he wants to fucking put Gilmore as striker, man. Like I don't know what he's saying anymore, man. Marshall, Marshall, fucking... Marshall I was gonna defend you until you said that Cavalier would be Kane's successor. I was gonna defend you, but, but if if you if you had to choose between uh, there, between uh, Cavalier and um, what's his name, um, uh, Tammy? No, no, no. Uh, you just said his name, the Southampton. Inacho. No, no, no. Ings. 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 Yeah. Who who would you choose between them? My, the, the, the way I see it is that we get someone to hold the striker position until next season we put in another bid for Holland or Lukaku. Um, so I would go Danny Ings just because experience and money-wise, uh, Dominic Carvalhoon has a huge contract at Everton. I don't think it's like that. It's just an option Ings, that I would prefer. Ings is technically better than Carvalhoon as well. Yeah, it's not the difference isn't too much between them, but I have a, I have a um, I have an unpopular opinion. Um, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, if we are going to if if we are considering getting Ings or Cavaluan, we might as well just have Tammy. To be honest, like I don't think the difference is that big. I, I'm just being honest. The difference isn't huge, in my in my opinion. Okay, Can I say I, something about Tammy? I've got. Go ahead, yeah, I was go gonna say, go the, the thing, the thing about Tammy Abraham, I like him as a striker, but he's gonna get nowhere with Chelsea. Like Tuchel don't like him. He ain't gonna sign a contract. We're just gonna lose value on him, and he's just gonna be rotten on the bench. So I, I don't, I wouldn't want to keep him. I, I'd rather it's Danny Ings over him because I think maybe Danny Ings might have a better chance of playing. So, if anything, if we're gonna get like a a decent striker, just go for Danny Ings and get rid of Tammy and just get the best value right now. So. I don't know. I just don't think Tammy's going to play for too short. Oh, and bro. Kai's going to go yeah. after. Imagine they get Icardi. That's my worst nightmare. Oh, I no, wish no, no, we get Icardi, man. I no, wish no, all, no, no, bro, no. all the players, all the players would live in fear of him taking their wives, man. They're still playing better because they know <laughs> that he is lurking around the corner. But you know, you know what? You know what? You know what? If we do sign Kelvin Lewin or Ings and we don't sign the, the, the striker of the level of Lukaku or Holland, I am... Flying to the Himalayas, man, and I'm gonna spend some time with the monks. Because I will not be watching Chelsea no more, man. I will be so annoyed about football that I don't want to watch no Chelsea anymore. Especially if we keep telling for another reason. After the, yeah. all the bitching he was making to Tuchel, he was literally complaining every time, you know. I think I think it was his uh, his girlfriend. His girlfriend kept uh, talking about. Uh, uh, yeah. I prefer not to speak. Yeah. yeah. That's so we didn't get in trouble. That's so we didn't get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, how you doing, mate? <laughs> I'm good. Guys. Oh, it's good. Alex. You, yes, guys? Alex. I'm yes, back. Alex. I'm back. Have you got a new How are you mic? guys? Hello. You got, you uh, you got no, a new I just got. Uh, I just got a little headset. Oh, good. Yeah, you sound a little bit oh, uh, better. Do I sound better? Okay. That's yeah, good. That's much, good. much clearer. Yeah, much clearer, man. That's Anyways, good. yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? All good. 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 What What you guys been talking about tonight? I just saw. I just saw. Just the the press and transfer of Chelsea. Yeah. The only thing there is to talk about Holland. Holland. Yeah. There's nothing else to talk about. Yeah. There's literally nothing else, isn't there? Nah. But 
Oh man, please don't, please don't be the same how it's always been when the weather we win trophies. I beg exactly, man. man. That's please. all the point. Exactly, bro. Please, man. I, I'm praying every night. I go to sleep and I just want to like, oh man, just sign a player, man. Just, just so, do some, something. Yeah. Some do Chelsea something. fans are doing that. Some Chelsea fans think that uh, oh, everything man. is fine because we won the Champions League. It's not fine. It's not fine because. We won the Champions League, but were we the best team to win the Champions League? I don't know, man. Like, every... Oh, man. I just... I can see how it's going to go. And Tuchel is such a good manager. And if you don't give yeah. him the team... The, he, look, even if we get Haaland, yeah, I, our team is still... I don't think our team is still strong enough to go and actually... We 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 need to we need to upgrade a lot. Like there, there's a lot to. Let, well, Alex, which would you you think is like for me? The only thing that's actually a priority for me is the striker. Yeah, everything else will get better. Yeah, okay. I think I think everyone else can get better, but at the same time, like get the striker. You know, that's the that's the problem. We, I guess, yeah. I guess we sometimes the problem is we'll end up overestimating. Oh, it's fine. We can try and get this player, and then. We we run out of time and then we actually mm -hmm. miss out on all the other targets and we end up with the same players that we had in three three years ago. So that's only that's the only thing I'm worried about. I've been hearing I've been hearing there's a lot of things you know going in the back but you know kind of more in the back rooms and you know and keeping it keeping it in a kind of behind the closed doors and and doing the business like that. But is it really like is it is it actually really true or are they actually doing something about it? I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get rid of the players first and then they want to do their business but i don't know man because the thing that really annoys me yeah, is is the seat the season starts the Premier league starts in a month 11th of mm. august that's yeah. one month to make less business. than a month, less than a month pre season yeah, yeah pre season already started three weeks you, yeah it's three weeks it's, yeah like you know what i mean like it's just pre season already started if you want to have players that should be in your team and to start developing with the squad and and we all know that our first six fixtures are not easy fixtures to to well we're gonna get a player and yeah okay the, the transfer market closes at the end yeah. of august but the, the league starts at the beginning of august and if you don't exactly, have those yeah. players yeah if you don't have those players there from the start especially who we are playing at the start then I don't know what we're gonna do, so we need to really get our shit together, you know, man. I don't yeah, know. yeah, we're putting Tuchel at a disadvantage, man, and it's not fair to him. They won the Champions it's, League, you know. It's 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 gonna it's gonna piss me off because I just think like if you give him all the tools of Tuchel, he's smart enough to improve this team, yes, but he still needs things to improve the team. Like it's just, I know, I know it's, I, think, I know it's still early, like, but well, it's not early, but I think for the next, maybe in the next two weeks, maybe we're gonna see more. But I don't know, man. Um, I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit in the doubt. Yeah. I think we'll see Haaland yeah. in like two weeks or a week. So, mm. and Chelsea yeah. fan base will be all calm. We'll win the league and we'll look at all this and thought, yep, we uh, overthink mm. it and panicked. And can, I, can I ask you guys something? Because I, I seem to be the only one. And I'm really curious as to why people are so against this. Why do you guys not rate Dominic Coverlewin? Because he's from one, one is for he plays for Everton. Holland <laughs> plays for Dortmund. He's a, he's a good player. Dortmund is a Champions League team. All right, the Champions League High Havertz played for Leverkusen. What are you trying to say? Calvert Lewin yeah, is a good player. He's a good player, but, but he's not. We're trading you know. on after Dominic Calvert Lewin. Yeah, nobody's under. The, well, he's, he's not, not even player, Everton's yeah. best player, though, Marshall. Yeah. 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 I agree, he's one of the best players, but he's not. Yeah. Real Madrid Marshall. is probably like after Fimandinho from Fluminense in some no, 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 Brazilian no, no, no. league, bro. Like we don't know. Do you know when you said Haaland's from Dortmund, you do realize Lewandowski was from Dortmund? And a few other top talents, and Marco Royce before his interview, he was a top talent. Let's not go that far, yeah. Let's not go that far, bro. Yeah, but they haven't won the the German league oh, so since name. Tuchel, and they're nowhere near winning a Champions League anytime soon. So, like, yeah. what are you trying to say? With like, it matters what team they come from. Who cares? Like, we've because got that, some great players from because that's shitty the teams. Of them. That's the quality of those players. How, he All right, is not listen, on the level of listen. Chelsea, we're talking about the quality. Of players that play in the team. Well, guess what? But he's Timo Werner, Timo Werner with Chelsea quality, didn't score 16 goals and two assists in Premier League, 21 yes. in, all, in all season. That's what yes. Carver Luton did with the shitty quality that Everton has. So I don't yeah, understand. But, they, but they, they didn't Holland the shitty quality for RB Leipzig was like this, the third highest scorer in in, uh, in Europe. Then he came to a big team, and you know what happened. It's different playing for a shitty team where you have to defend yeah, the whole fucking. Also, yeah, different playing play for, for Prem, man. 
And uh, Marshall, don't forget though, Everton don't have the reputation where Chelsea do. If Everton go to a game, the other team's going to think we're going to beat them. If Chelsea go into a game against a small team, they're going to yeah. park the bus. The, the only difference between Tam Abram and Dominic Cavalloon is Dominic Cavalloon can actually head, head That's the difference. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little bit better oh looking. God. That's the only fucking difference, bro. Cavalloon <laughs> has so much better qualities than Tammy Abraham. What, Stop what, this what, comparison, <laughs> please. But that doesn't mean much. That doesn't mean much. But besides him, it doesn't mean much. But I, like, I, I genuinely just genuinely dislike it when people compare Tammy to someone who has been proven and is consistently yeah, scoring but, for their team like but Dominic Carvalhoen who has not but tapping Marshall, goals but actual quality goals but Marshall that's still not enough that's still not enough hang on he had one his, his breakout season was last season okay and it was a Tammy type season where he scored a lot of goals and then didn't score for a while and scored a few goals again he has not been consistent he's, he's a Tammy 2.0 man it's Tammy it, you know, you know, when they say Tammy he can only head it, he can only head better he's, I don't know what you see in Dominic Cabot doing that gives you the Wait, what do you mean he hasn't it? been consistent at all? I'm looking at his stats right now. He's actually added on to his goal scoring. Hey, yo, from the last Bumpen Premier League. He scored 13 goals last year. This year he scored 16. He's showing an in incline. Like he he's exponentially getting better. Like I don't understand where you guys uh, are coming with this. I, I think Ma I think Marshall, we should look for the big boys first. Harland. No, Ekno, I get it. No, uh, no, Chris, that's Lukaku, never been the Ekno. argument. That's I, never I, I been know, the argument. Like, and then even maybe Mbappe, because Mbappe's got one year left, and I would prefer Mbappe over oh, yeah, five and well. yeah, forget about 150 that. million, easily. But I don't know if Chelsea's looking at that way. But no, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea no. If if I was Chelsea's board, I would be looking at Mbappe too because he's in Bro, one year left. Ch I know in Chelsea they would rather go for Icardi for 60 million. Then sign Haaland for 150, bro. That's the Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea would rather take uh, take a player with his leg glued together for 50 or 60, rather than sign what, like, and make that same hey, purchase three times he'll, he'll, he'll go and then buy somebody like fight. a Haaland or like a Lukaku, you know what I mean? That's us. He'll, he'll play with the made that mistake over and over again. Uh, Eric Blue, I just, I've got other people coming to come on. What, what's the last thing you want to say, mate? So just going to Look, over. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this to conclude. Um, we need to be patient. Uh, I still think Holland will come to Chelsea. Um, we just need to be patient. And um, mm. hopefully we get a DM as well. I want a DM. Um, we, need to replace, uh, we need to replace Gilmore. But um, yeah, it okay, should be yeah. interesting to see. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. see you guys well, later. Thank you for Thank coming you. on, man. Thank you for coming on, on Catch you later. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you want, yeah? Yeah, cheers. Thanks. All Bye. Right. Thanks, pal. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you guys this too. I'm going to have CFC legend. Um, there's a space left on the panel if you want to jump on. CFC legend, what do you want to say, mate? Um, firstly, big up to all you guys because I've been watching all, all of you since um, <laughs> since the COVID-19 outbreak. So since the inception of this channel, I've been watching every show. So big up to you guys. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Uh, Thanks, bro. Thanks for watching, brother. Thanks, you, bro. Um, I just kind of wanted to kind of echo some of the things um, some of you guys have been saying. But from my mm -hmm. perspective, anyway, I think... Haaland's kind of, it's, it's, that's the main target. You look at the small moves Chelsea are making with, or oh, actually big moves in the case of selling Gwehi, looking to make a sale on Tammy. I don't really understand where people are coming from or some of the outrage over um, Tammy in terms of oh, trying to either get him to say or questioning whether selling him for 40 million or keeping him for keeping him. It's uh, not good enough. Um, we kind of know this. I think I, I don't think yeah. um, when Lampard over, no one thought Tam is here for long term. In my perspective, anyway, I always knew Chelsea mm. will look to get a new striker. Even when Drogba was here, we still tried to get other strikers to compete with him. So there was never a time where Tammy would, would be have the divine right to be a number one striker, mm. and no one would come to challenge him. And I think Haaland, you look at his age. At the age of 20 and the goals he scored, he's, he could be the biggest jigsaw piece we have to complete this team. I know there's other facets of the team that we might need to improve, like like right um, potentially right back cover and up central mid. But striker is the biggest piece we're missing. And I think all of us here understand that. And to miss out on the opportunity, especially next year with teams at Real Madrid, we don't know how the, how the returning fans might change the financial elements for these clubs like Real Madrid, Barcelona, mm. Juventus, etc. So to miss it, miss out on the opportunity to get one of the potentially the best strikers for the next decade ten, or so. Ten year, yeah. It'll yeah. be it'll be an outrage. And I think Romachilda next year and to see him go to like Juventus, 
I'll be kind of kicking myself. You need to repeat this to Marina, you know, so you get you get that in in her head because Chelsea. I think no. Be around I think the bush. no. You know, you know how people say the big accounts have have insider knowledge. How did they miss out on the way you say then? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah clearly. Yeah, like, I guess. So, so we tend to think these big accounts on Twitter have the insider knowledge, etc. No one, no single person, up until Gwe got sold, said or had an info regarding he possibly could get sold. Yeah. So, so never. So I would say to everyone who's watching or on social media, just be careful of who you think who knows like so and so new because we don't know what's happening. They might be building up towards this massive bit. I hope it comes to fruition, and yep. you know I gotta hope for the best. I know 2017, you know, <laughs> it's 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 in our head in terms of what, but I, I'm I'm just in the hope stage at the minute, and hopefully we can get yeah. this through. Yeah. All right, CFC legend, thanks for coming on, man. Make sure All you right, get a chance it. to come on, okay? Big up to you guys. Right, thanks, mate. Abs, uh, what do you wanna say, pal? You see, with the whole Holland thing, we yep. just need a Langman laptop, to be honest. We, we really need a Langman. When's the last time we had a one-in-one striker since... I won't even go as far as Drogba. Do you think Hassel might was the last one-in-one striker we had? Every time we gave it to him, bang, back of the net. Even Drogba, Drogba was barely a one-in-two. And more time he was playing as the guy who tried to link play as well, which, didn't, which nothing wrong with that, but... Mm. We've lacked a goal scorer at the time. Diego Costa came in. And he did it for a good few years. Then Antonio Conte, that Oompa Loompa, decided to sell him just because he didn't agree with him. So, what's it called? Yeah, we, just, we, we really need a leg man up top, to be honest. We need a leg man up top. We need a leg man in defence. And we need someone who's going to marshal the midfield. And also, we need another backup goalie. Because I am not dealing with Kepa for a month. Not yes. happening. No yeah. chance. If I see Kepa between the sticks, I might go on myself. I don't care. Six foot one. You already know it's so on I know you're, you're right. People forget that. <laughs> the goal, uh, if AFCON goes ahead, which I presume it will next year, Mendy's missing for at least a month to six month. weeks. Depending yeah, how far on. Senegal go in the tournament. Um, if not, they block out by us. You know, so and in ahead. January, we, I think we have Liverpool, Spurs, and City in January as well. And, uh, yeah, go ahead, Chris. I was gonna say I I think we're stuck with Kef anyway. I don't see him move, yeah, uh, by the looks of it. Thing. By the looks of it, we're not even looking to move Kepa. And it, it, when we do have Kepa as our uh, first choice keeper when Mendy's out, we just gotta worry about those long shots. And if we can cut them out, I think we'd be fine. Because I think Kepa make like I think sixteen to seventeen saves before uh, uh, conceding the goal. So if yeah. we do that for a month, we're only against <laughs> Arsenal and. Uh, who else well, we're against? Uh, Crystal Palace. Yeah, but like, I'm, I'm saying, but Arsenal are going to miss a, a bunch of players too. But, um, hey, yo, I, 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 think, I think we just blocked the long no, shots and we'd be good. Okay. Well, if you think about Liverpool, Even if you take away the best players, the play get prime Barcelona against just some hard one. Like, we always expect to win against Arsenal the end of... Nah. <laughs> No, you see what it is. With Liverpool, I won't be worried because they've got Salad and Mane on either wing and they don't oh, really yeah. take yeah. Yeah, 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 Salad, yeah. Salad that p and merchant. How people compare him to Hazard is a disgrace. I don't ever want to hear him in some sort of goal conversation with any support. But yeah, so we'll be calm for Liverpool. In fact, we'll probably pack them. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. Kepa in goal or Kepa out of goal will always cook Liverpool to third head rock team. we we'll always cook Spurs, same thing. But then still, you might throw it enough. That, that's enough the problem. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. It, I feel. Yeah, I, I fear with not fear. I think if Harlem goes through, I'm not mm. going to see another big transfer at Chelsea this summer. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I, years. I don't care. I don't care. Saying, I don't care. My worry is too cool. Hang on. My thing is... Nah, Tuka will be happy, man. You're going to see Tuka little transfers... You're going to see little Vernal, transfers man. to supplement the squad. You know, like that. That's what you're going to see. Because Harlan's a massive piece uh, to move in, which is good. 
I just think I'm uh, moving the words in song. That's Kai's phone. It's, yeah, uh, that happens time to time. My phone? What? Yeah, your phone keeps making your, that noise. Your, your mic, that. your mic constantly yeah. makes that noise, man. It's like it's like a, it's like a defunct fax machine, man. It's, it's like, like a mosquito, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like it's all, all the, in, the old, in, you know, the old internet. Was, for the Wi-Fi came in. My microphone is just too powerful for you guys. <laughs> clearly, clearly. You guys, you guys are the problem. We're not on your level. We're yeah, not on your it's level not, yet. It's not, yeah, Chris my mic's right. level, Chris, not yeah, my level. My mic's level. It's picking, up eight, it's picking up out of space. So. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus Christ. How about you find your powerful, your powerful mic friend thing, uh, Kai? It moved, it moved that's that's, Fatou, that's Fatou's mic. He probably fell asleep on it. <laughs> no. Why is it always me? <laughs> Why is it always me? I'm just covering myself because I'm really cold right now. Oh, see? Oh, How are you cold? How are you cold? Why are you it's cold? So hot. No, it's just so... like... It's for the, it's it's the Wembley virus, right okay? Uh, Everyone's yeah, had it already. It's the COVID virus, probably. Uh, yeah. You all got infected over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean... Guys, so I wanted to ask you guys. Um, I know it's not true, but let's just say hypotheticals. Let's maybe let's go around. We'll start with Kai. We'll go. We'll go all around, all the way around. Yeah. If if Dortmund want Callum, and I know these types of deals don't ever happen, that way, bro. but let's just say, let's just say, in this universe, um, <laughs> London plane, man. C one London. Your opinions stink, man. Anyways, um. <laughs> Let's just say in this universe, this, this player swap thing happens, okay? Yeah. If, if Dortmund want Callum to replace Jaden Sancho and they were willing to give us Holland if we include Callum in a deal, would you guys get rid of Callum? Start with uh, Kai Mar- and we'll go around. Marshall, I'm going to answer you with a song, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Guys, Let be ready to mute. Let it go. Let it go, bro. I'm allowed. I, like he can. Like for me, replacing a bench player with Allen, <laughs> Let him go, man. Let him go, bro. I will send. It, I will play him the, the 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 Frozen theme song the whole way there, man. That's how much I wanted to go. Bro. I don't care, man. Oh. He he is. See, the thing with me is, Cho is a decent player, but he's not a crucial player for Chelsea. So we can, if we could replace him with one of the biggest issues at Chelsea for the last 12, 13 years. No worries, bro. I'm willing to uh, to make that sacrifice. Real Chris. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. It's no brainer, really. Like Callum, I like him. He's he's full of potential, but we don't know if he's gonna be the same guy after his injury. So I I let him go to Dortmund. And if he works out Dortmund, then he works out. But we got Haaland end of the day, and that's what we need. We need a striker. So yeah, I would. Will. Will. Um, Cho, yeah, it feels like we put Cho in this Holland basket again. I feel, I feel so bad for the player himself, but for the sake of the Chelsea's future, yeah, if we want to get Haaland, we have to yeah. sacrifice at least one, one or two players in our, in our squad. Unfortunately, Cho is one of those players that that have to be sacrificed, and I'm all down for it, man. It all depends on how Marina negotiating the deal. If 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 the deal does work, so we can we can sit here and say, uh, we all hold our hands up and say like, okay, we, you done our bit. We just we just sit here and be relief. Yeah. What do you think, Andrew? Um. Yeah. I, I, no. No players living in the club. No players living in the club. I am. Uh, Seems like everyone's I for would, doing this. Okay, bro, he's a bench player, man. It's not like he's no, been good for Chelsea. No, I get it, but not not everyone yeah, feels that way. Let me finish. Yeah, because I they have too much to cast to uh, Astrid, bro. To Alex, bro. Too in love. I would put the caveat that we should put in a a um, thing like we've done with Gahey, man. You know what I mean? If he turns out, you know, we should have first refusal. That's it. If he, if he yeah. starts putting up trees, you know what I mean? That's what I would do. Um, yeah, I like that we that, added that to get his deal. I just, I just, yeah, I just think it's, it's Harlan's Harlan. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you don't, you don't pass up on that. But if they want that, then fine. But I just don't see them passing that. But obviously, this is a what if. So. 
Yeah, it's a big what if, but there have been links with Dortmund and, and Callum for a while now. Been, Hassan. Always been to Germany, man. He's always been to Germany. Oh, uh, my turn now. Do you know? Do you know what? Uh, if we ever did that, oh, I know the muffin thing. man. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. I was gonna say. Do you know like the story about John Obi Bukel and the allegedly kidnapping? And we just stole him away from Man United. That's what I do to George. Just kid- kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I I don't understand. Like when people say no, man. Like what's wrong with you, man? Like yeah, I get it. Hey, you like Joe. No, like we could since it's a swap deal, we could just overprice Cho. Just put volume at like 50, 60, give Bunny on top and that's it. Because it's a what if. That was a, that was a I mean, you could, but that doesn't mean they'll accept it though. That's yeah, a very expensive it. kidnapping of a John Obi Mikel. It's, it's a 12 million pound kidnapping. It's ransom, man. It's a ransom. What do you think, Abs? It wouldn't piss me off, uh, C1 London. I don't care. Uh, abs? Uh... I hear what everyone's saying about selling John. I probably agree with you. But but there is one problem. There's a caveat. Hi, you said if we sell if we I would sacrifice board... both Kovacic and Jorginho, by the way. Sorry, Adam. Damn. <laughs> I don't know about Jorginho. Maybe just Kovacic is enough, I, but okay. Neither of them. I don't bro, I am I am not that guy who put the player above the club. Oh you wouldn't. Would you wouldn't. wouldn't. Or you would. You would, I would say. No, no, you wouldn't. I don't know. That would hurt us big time. Then we'd have a midfield problem, I think. But yeah, go on. I'm so sorry. I would put a gun to a player's head and force the move, man. Go on, No, because I want the best for my club. So yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, don't worry. It's calm. It's calm. But yeah, so the only thing I'd say, sure, is that if we sell him, how many wingers do we have left at the club? Remember, Zia should be a winger. Pulisic is made of glass. And I'll be perfectly honest, I think Cho's better than Pulisic. Although Pulisic has the X Factor ability over Cho, where he can literally move through four or five man like Ronaldinho, Cho's decision making and footballing IQ is in a different galaxy to Pulisic, in my opinion. So, that's a hard one. It depends how much they lower the price for. If they're making us pay 100 M <laughs> and Cho, then I'm calm with that. But if it's 120 runs and so, then mm, it's a sticky one still. But yeah, probably I'd say, yeah. I just, it's the issue of how are we going to get another winner? And so we're only going to have one winner left. Yeah, but well, we can manage. We have no striker. That's the thing. We have no striker, bro. Yeah, I mean, well, we don't really play with wingers in the system, but that, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah. I don't know. For, for me, Cho isn't as crucial as a lot of people make him to be, man. I guess there's a, but I that's guess just my opinion. For- we need for wingers decreases in a three-four-three. Three. Yeah. Formation. Uh, yeah. Plus, Ver- the, Werner can play a winger. The amount. Yeah. Sorry, the amount. Yeah. 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 You Burn take that is- back, Kai. <laughs> you take that back. We saw him bro, as a winger bro, under, he under Lampard. Assist. He has the most assist out of our players as an inside as, forward. As an anyway. inside forward. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alex, no, what do you think, brother? No, no Abs. Just- finish up. Finish up. I'm sorry, Abs. No, it's calm down, Alex. Bro. Look, man. I just got three words. Let him go, man. Just let him go. Because look, man. If yeah, it came to I it, agree. If it, if it came to it and someone gave him the table, look, you're going to get Haaland, but we need one Callum. Give him Callum. Because at the end of the day, look, I think Callum, look, I, I just, I think he needs, he needs to play football. And I think for, if I like Callum, but at the same time, if I think for what's best for me, what best for the club, we need a striker, man. You win games by scoring goals and, and Callum, yeah. hasn't done, Callum hasn't hasn't done that enough. And even his creativity, I don't think he's going to be the player we're going to need to actually make make create chances. Because I think if you if you if you remove if you remove Cho and you bring Haaland to the team, you still have wow. players like Mount Ziyech, Pulisic, Havertz, Werner around them to create enough chances for Haaland to be there. And look, and Cho, if he becomes good enough, then who's to say that we can't even take him back later on? Yes, we might lose money. Yeah, yeah. On him. But having a striker like Haaland come to our club, we need them. You know what I mean? Like, look, man, there's yeah. so many other wingers, and who knows that it's. I would, I would rather do that because who you know, you don't. Uh, if I'm seeing fit now, and I have to see two players like Haaland and Callum, yeah, who and a player that I can see who has more potential, and you can see, it, okay, this player is gonna improve my squad by a mile. I'm gonna take the mm-hmm. player's gonna improve my squad. I'm not gonna take a player that who sits on a bench time to time. And might improve the team. Yeah, and uh, Harlan's going to have improved our squad massively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And Alex, just to argue your point, Chelsea will always probably insert some sort of buyback clause with their relax. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe. And the thing is, Dortmund, Dortmund wouldn't, I think Dortmund wouldn't even care. So, yeah, no worries. We'll just take him for a little bit of time. We'll train him up and then we'll give it back to you in you know, the next, next couple of years. But I, I, I guess that would be good for Callum. I think it would actually, I think it would actually be the best move for him. Because to be honest, like, what, the, what's he going to do? The thing is, Slendy's right. And Marshall's was a what-if question, but actually there's no sacrifice needed. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is. Just, I mean, yeah. There's 150 million sacrifice needed. Well, but, yeah. 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 They're not wanting a player. They're not wanting a player. Yeah. It's like 150 yeah. million pounds. Yeah. Bro, I don't. I understand why they don't want any player. You literally give them Kalama Sadoy and Tammy Abraham. Of course, they're not gonna want to replace them for a Holland man. I don't. I don't think. They, I think they're. I think they're okay in a wide position. So that's why they don't want to show. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think they rate Tammy. Highly. Well, who does? I don't think they, they want Tammy. His girlfriend. Yeah, I don't blame him. And I understand that. I understand that. At least publicly. Um, well. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, and thanks very much, guys, jumping on. We're gonna do more of these call ins, I think, every Friday or so. Uh, just uh, and I'll tell you what, we're not gonna do we're not gonna when we if we sign Harlan, we're not gonna talk about him, all right? Mm. No, 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 the day we the day we sign, we're gonna make a big show, <laughs> you know. <Harlan's> back. <laughs> Harlan, Andrew, we, we, we as fans deserve to talk about him. The, Hey, yeah, yo, hey, we, can't let, we can't let go of that ad revenue, bro. We can't. Yo, the day <laughs> the day we sign the day we sign Holland, yeah. you'll see Kai writing on the cage Twitter, a big huge <laughs> apology to Chelsea board for all the slander he's given <laughs> them. Hundred percent. The day, the day all we the sign negativity. Ha- Bro, the day we sign Holland, I will do the Macarena on stream, man. Live you, you've been like, sorry, sorry for calling you Speculation <laughs> FC. Sorry for calling you on the radar FC. That's a verbal contract. So we got, we got eight winners. <laughs> I heard you say that. We will keep, yeah, yeah. We'll hold you to your word on that one. The I saw him clipping. I saw him clipping. Some, get, your pra- get your dancing. But, Hassan, um, I know you're already clipping, bro. Going, bro. I know you, you have everything clipped, bro. Thank you to Abs, Alex, San, Father for jumping no on. Real Chris, Will, Marshall and myself. We are out of here. Kai, take us out, my friend. Hey, uh, first of all, Slens is lying. I owe him nothing. I, I don't know what he's talking about. There's there's no such thing. Allegedly. Was made. Allegedly. It's, it's just allegedly. And second of all, thank you guys for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Take your vitamins. And we'll see you guys on Monday, I think, right? Monday. Yeah, Monday. Monday. I think we're doing Monday. Take care, people. Debate, I think. But yeah, we'll yeah, see you Take care, people. Uh, see, see you guys. Ooh. Have a good weekend.